Famous musicians like Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, and Jim Morrison are part of the 27 Club, along with Brian Jones, Kurt Cobain, and Amy Winehouse. The idea behind the club is that talented but troubled musicians don't, won't, or can't live to see age 28. The members range from psychedelic poets to troubled R&B singers, and it could even be expanded to include painters and punk visionaries. Is there really a large amount of famous people who die at the age of 27? British researchers found that more rock stars die before they're 30 than the average person. The late 20s and early 30s are the most volatile time for performers, and European and English rockers are more likely to die young than their American counterparts. Most of the members of the 27 Club were performing in the 60s and 70s, when drug use and chaotic behavior were rampant and applauded by audiences. Jim Morrison always appeared to be heading towards destruction, and after achieving fame with The Doors, he turned to drugs and alcohol as a means of escape. Despite seeming to be doing well in Paris, he was found dead in his bathtub from a heart failure at the age of 27, just nine months after the deaths of Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin. His death has remained intriguing to rock and roll fans, adding to the cosmic connection of the 27 Club. Jimi Hendrix's reckless lifestyle and drug use ultimately led to his untimely death in 1970. He was known for taking whatever drugs were handed to him and living with reckless abandon, but it's unclear if his death was intentional. Eric Burden of the Animals claims that Hendrix was tired of being alive, but the details surrounding his death remain mysterious. When Janis Joplin returned to her hotel room from a recording session on October 4, 1970, she dug into a stash of heroin that she purchased earlier that week and shot up. When she was found by her friend, Peggy Caserta, Joplin was clutching a new pack of cigarettes in one hand and some change in the other. Caserta believes that Joplin, having just injected heroin, went to the cigarette machine at her hotel and walked back to her room, where she tripped and slammed her head onto the room's desk broke her nose, and asphyxiated. The first official member of the 27 Club, Brian Jones, died in a mysterious drowning incident. His girlfriend pulled him out of the swimming pool, but it was too late. There are theories that he may have been murdered by a secret agent. While he may not fit in with the main four members of the 27 Club, Robert Johnson is considered the pioneer of the rock and roll lifestyle. Johnson allegedly sold his soul to the devil in exchange for extraordinary guitar skills. His unique blues style changed music forever, but he died at the age of 27 after being poisoned at a roadhouse. One prominent member of the Grateful Dead in their early years was Ron Pigpen McKernan, known for his poetic rants and alcoholism. His excessive drinking, coupled with a rare autoimmune disease, led to his untimely death in 1973 from a gastrointestinal hemorrhage. Badfinger, a band signed to Apple Records and then Warner Brothers, never reached the success they were promised. After their manager stole their advance, leaving them in debt, band members Pete Ham and Tom Evans both tragically took their own lives. Ham in 1975 and Evans seven years later. his band The Minutemen stood out in the hardcore music scene of the 1980s. He was a larger, 
happy guy with a unique guitar style influenced by funk and the New York Dolls. Unlike many 27 Club members, he wasn't self-destructive and enjoyed playing music and hanging out with friends. Tragically, his life was cut short when he was flung from the band's van during a road accident in Arizona, breaking his neck and dying instantly. Is being a musician a requirement for joining the 27 Club? Neo-expressionist painter Jean-Michel Basquiat died at the age of 27 from a drug overdose, after struggling to overcome his addiction. While Basquiat was a member of a noise group, the 27 Club is more about artists who give so much of themselves that they are ultimately drained by life. On April 8, 1994, the world was shocked by the news that Kurt Cobain, the singer and guitarist for Nirvana, had died from a self-inflicted shotgun blast to the head. Cobain's body was found three days after his death, as he had been struggling with heroin addiction, depression, and severe stomach pains. One month before his death, Cobain had overdosed on painkillers and his former wife claimed there was a definite suicidal urge. Multiple theories exist about his death, but all evidence points to the sad fact that he ended his own life in the greenhouse attached to his home. Amy Winehouse's voice in the 2000s felt like it was from another era. She sounded like 60s Motown stars with a touch of Janis Joplin, and she had some of Janis' problems. Despite trying to stay clean and create new sounds, on July 23, 2011, Winehouse drank herself to death at her home in Camden, North London.